This video is sponsored by HelloFresh. With a big move around the corner, HelloFresh has become an immense staple in our lives. We've honestly been so busy, so we're extremely thankful that HelloFresh is able to provide fresh ingredients to our door, which makes cooking at home fun, easy, and affordable. HelloFresh cuts stressful meal planning and prepping, so you can enjoy cooking and getting dinner on the table in just about 30 minutes, or even 20 minutes with their quick and easy options. As beginners in the kitchen, we enjoy learning new recipes every week. We also keep all the recipe cards so we can remake them in the future. They are way too good to not keep. There's something for everyone, including low calorie, vegetarian, and kid-friendly recipes every week. Today we're making their Tex-Mex beef and poblano enchiladas. This is one of Carlos's favorites. You can easily change your delivery days or food preferences and skip a week whenever you need. Feeding the whole family has honestly never been easier with larger box sizes for more servings and more savings, or simply enough for two like Carlos and I. The packaging HelloFresh uses to ship your food is almost entirely made from recyclable and are already recycled content. The University of Michigan states that HelloFresh's carbon footprint is 25% lower than that of meals made from store-bought groceries. HelloFresh also donated over 2.5 million meals to charity in 2019, and this year is stepping up their food donations amid the coronavirus crisis. Go to HelloFresh.com and use my code EATWITHKIM80 to get a total of $80 off across five boxes, including free shipping on your first box. Again, that's HelloFresh.com. Use my discount code EATWITHKIM80 to get a total of $80 off across five boxes, including free shipping on your first box. Hey, really? <laughs> <laughs> you like? Yeah. Oh, wait, I want to try now. You got to get the tortilla. Yeah. You gotta get the tortilla. Oh, the meat itself is bomb. The meat is really good. The meat is so good. Mmm. The seasoning? Mm hmm. Oh, that's bomb. You're gonna take it and run? Mm hmm. You're gonna share with me. I'll show you. <laughs> oh, hey, hey. That's good. <laughs> a pound of shrimp, Dungeness crab, two pounds of snow crab, a pound of king crab legs, sausage, potatoes, and uh, Michelle. Hi! Bon appetit! Yay! We're getting started because we're uh, hungry. Hungry. Okay, oh, I, we'll have some. I have a surprise for you. Oh my. Close your eyes. No wonder. She was really weird about drinks. <laughs> close your eyes. Huh? Ah, close your <laughs> eyes! <laughs> okay, put your hand out. I'm scared. Little boy, we never do anything to you. Okay. <gasps> cactus cooler, you guys. It's cactus cooler. I, I saw it today. Cool. I literally was at the checkout. You can try it. I was, at the, I was at the checkout and I was like, oh, ma'am, sorry. I'm going to need to get like a... <laughs> like, um, I need to... She wasn't in the mood. <laughs> um, no. But you know, I got to do what I got to do. You got to do what you got to do. We are also trying a new game today. I bought this on Amazon during Amazon Prime. <laughs> <laughs> this is called I Wish I Didn't Know. Mm. Trivia. Oh, it's filthy. Oh, we love filthy things. <coughs> I'm drinking Canada Dry. Ginger. Yeah. You want to try, Mom? Oh, yeah. I've never tried it before. Do you feel like it? I think it's more like a juice, I guess. Oh, that's good. Uh, yeah. Wait. Yeah, I know. I don't taste the pineapple at Orange all. Orange pineapple. Yeah. No, it doesn't taste like pineapple at all. Oh, my gosh. It's good. You like I assume you know what ginger ale tastes yes, like. Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. Okay, may get started. I am too. And they got my ring. Off my ring. <laughs> Where I get it all dirty. Do you need one of these? Oh, no, I'm good. Thank you. Oh. Hmm. We don't have rice and cucumber, so we're not doing the tradition today. <laughs> oh, let me tell you. I was in the middle of filming. Yes. And I was like, oh, my God. I have three minutes to order. Oh. Yeah, that's what happened, man. 
What time do they close? They close at 9, but you had to order by 8, and it was like 7 fi- 7.57. Oh, my God. And then my oven was going off, and the alarm system, the fire. Yeah. So you, you really went through it. I went through it. Oh, <laughs> I've been dreaming of seafood today. Oh, okay. Why. I don't know why. I think my body knows that once you leave, I'm not going to eat it as much. Every weekend, no. That's always a tradition. We're going to do it every weekend? No, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was like, really? <laughs> Your mm. ass is going to want Korean barbecue every weekend. I'm no, gonna remember. Walk. I'm going to walk in the house and I'm going to be like, is the grill outside? <laughs> no, you know what you're going to do? You're going to walk all the way to the back of the house. If you see the grill, you're going to get in your car and leave. <laughs> but I can track you on my phone, so don't even. Unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, where'd you go? Sometimes when I'm bored, I'm looking at your location, see what you're doing. Do you? Really? And you know what? You're always at home, so I'm bored. <laughs> yeah. You never look at my location. Oh, friend, she I do, did. but... Oh, my God. God. I do, but you're always home, too, and it's really boring. Yeah, I'm always home. All of the times you do leave, yeah, you end up at your mom's, and that's boring too. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, um, Carlos has an Android, so he has Google Maps. Oh yeah. And every time I track his location, it always f's with me. Oh, that one. <laughs> one time? Oh my gosh, my life, my life. Oh my gosh. It always tells me the wrong location, and I always question him when he gets home. Oh my gosh, that scared me. Remember that day, me. <gasps> um, <laughs> um, um. Literally, this one time Michelle was over and Carlos said he was going to his mom's house, which I knew because like he had to drop off food or something. And I checked the location just like for shits and giggles because it took forever. And literally, Google Maps put him in the middle of John Wayne, like mm-hmm. literally, like inside. walking in but John Wayne. But it was Wayne. late at night, and if you guys are not familiar with John Wayne, they close early. They close at ten. And it was like, what, 11, 12? And I was like, dude, what the freaking heck is going on? Wow. Here you go. Oh my god, a basket. I do for you. Which is basket? Do you, um, hmm. some people think it's crazy that we have our locations on, but it makes me sleep better at night knowing where Michelle is. Really? <laughs> I like knowing where you are. Even though I'm home all the time. I know, but like when you like go out on dates, I like knowing where oh, you are. Oh yeah, that is very true. Yeah. If you're worried about giving it to your friend, I think that might be a problem. Mm-hmm. Like, is there trust issues? Unless your friend's crazy. <laughs> um, yeah, that's not it. Oh my god, the shrimp is so good. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Oh my god, the shrimp is bomb. Honestly, it's not even a stalker thing. It's just for my, like... Enjoyment? No, like, mental health. I just want to know you guys are safe. Mm. Do you guys have your back, yours back on? Mm-hmm. You guys but, took it off before the proposal. We did? I thought you did. I thought you. that's what you told me. No, it magically just turned off. Really? I think I have a booger. Or something. Carlos turns it off when he gets mad at me. Oh, that's a dick move. <laughs> Damn. Way to fuck with someone. Damn. And then he turns it back on when we make up, so it's fine. <laughs> but that's how you guys fight, though. The story of our relationship. I've noticed that's how you fight. <laughs> You're like, he left. He didn't really leave. No. He's just in the back, sitting on the floor. <laughs> Ooh. Wait. Hmm. Hmm. Can we talk about the undoing finale without giving it away, or is that like... Or can we just say at this moment we know? <laughs> no, we can't, huh? No, because some people haven't watched it yet. Well, what are you doing? People work, Michelle. We don't. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Remember when I u- couldn't watch shows? Because <laughs> I was like, yo, I don't got time to sit around and watch a show. Now that's all I do. Oh my god, the snow crab are beautiful today. Okay, so talk about it. What do you want to talk about? Uh, see, it's hard to talk about a finale because, like, you know, it's hard. Let's just say that I was, like, surprised but not surprised. Were you surprised but not surprised? Yeah. I was kind of annoyed at the same time. It's There's a reason it's... Okay, so, 
It's considered a psychological thriller. Mm -hmm. So I was like really like thinking about it too much and going towards this way. Mm -hmm. But it literally was like going towards this way. Mm -hmm. So that made no sense, but okay. Mm. Oh my God, the snow crab is so good. Oh my God, I got so much. So I can share with Sophia. Oh, Sophia. I miss seeing that girl. I know. I'm not going to be down the street anymore, so no more leftovers. I miss her yelling at me. How about you? I just saw her the other day with uh, Rye. Oh, <gasps> <gasps> Thank Google. you. Thank you. Oh, I forgot the butter. That's what I forgot. It's okay. Next time. Next time we get some Kerrygold butter. Kinta's favorite butter. It's so good. It is good. Remember for the longest you like couldn't get it? You're like, I don't understand. Like what butter makes the good butter? Kerrygold's so good. Man. And then you found Kerrygold. Mm-hmm. It was on sale at Costco. I always have to add that in. <laughs> um. Hmm. Oh. Michelle and I have decided that we are going to wait until a teacher is completely done. Mm -hmm. Because 20 minutes is just not enough time to enjoy a show, man. Mm -hmm. I have a bone to pick with one of yours. <laughs> and it's the person who gave it away to Kim about the undoing. I'm oh. pissed. Oh my god, yeah. Someone gave it away and I'm sure it was an accident. Or maybe they thought that you had already watched it. I was so sad. But it was so upsetting because then when she knows, I have to ask. Oh, so no. I have to know. So basically, I posted on Instagram that like Sunday night was like the undoing finale, right? And this girl knew that I was watching it because I was like, okay, we're starting the finale now. Mm -hmm. And literally, she messaged me and was like, oh, just to let you know, it's the blank. She like told me the finale. And I was like, And I know Michelle and Carlos like, well, why'd you read her messages? Like, messages show up on Instagram. That's true. I know. I was so sad. So don't give it away, y'all. We won't give it away. And you Wait, don't have to when, give it away. When is an appropriate time to talk about the finale? Like, next year? I think like a month after. You think so? Mm-hmm. By the time you're in your, your new house, I think you're allowed to talk about it. Or never give it away. That's so sad. We have to talk oh, about the ending, huh? Yeah, mm, yeah, it's a debate. Okay, all I care about is um, is all Americans coming out in January. <laughs> Michelle, you ha okay? Okay, you know what we're gonna do? Hmm. You're gonna have to come over for like a week. Okay. And we're gonna have to watch All American. You have to watch Fractured with me. Fractured? Is that what you're talking? Oh my God, Fractured is so. Ugh, I'm just not with you today. Oh no, I have to work today. <coughs> <laughs> yeah, we Friday night. Gonna... Friday night. Yeah, we don't have anything to watch. Are you kidding? Oh yeah, we do. <laughs> is it two? Uh huh. Okay. If you guys have never watched Fractured on Netflix, it's so good. It's called Fractured, like you fractured your elbow. Thank you for that. <laughs> Sometimes people can understand what I'm saying. <laughs> But it's about this dad and mom, <clears throat> and they have a daughter. No way. Yeah. I have to be careful how I explain things, because I get too carried away, and I give it away. <laughs> okay, basically, I got it. It's his mom and dad, and they have a daughter, and they're on a road trip. Uh, I think it's Thanksgiving. They're coming back from their parents' house or something, or going to their parents' house. And they stop at a gas station, and the daughter falls in and fractures, falls in this hole chasing a balloon or something. Falls in a hole? Yeah, like a construction hole. Oh my gosh. And fractures her head. Oh, it's actually fractured? Yeah, she injured her head or something like that. And so they rush them to the near... They Is she wounded? Ma yeah, she's wounded. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, dad, and daughter go to a hospital. And dad fa like falls asleep in the waiting room. Um, And he wakes up and his daughter and his wife and daughter are gone. He can't find them. Huh? He can't find them. And the, the, hosp heck? the hospital has no record. Yeah. Mom and dad just disappears. You mean mom and daughter? I'm sorry. Mom and daughter disappears. And the dad's like, where the hell is my mom and... Where, where the hell is... It's so hard to talk without giving your life. <laughs> He's like, where the hell is my wife and daughter? We were just here five hours ago. We checked in. My daughter injured her head. Like, we sat down. You took my insurance. Like, 
where the hell are they? And the end, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Doesn't it sound good? It's good. What? You should watch it. That sounds crazy, that's what it sounds like. It's called Fractured. I think it's still on Netflix. Carlos and I watched it last November in Hawaii. We found it, remember? Oh, we did? We found it, but then we didn't click on it. Wait, and Loki, you want to watch it with you again? I know. Because I want to see your reaction. Watch it Friday with me. Okay, let's do it Friday. Mmm. <laughs> I have a potato skin stuck in my teeth. Do you want me to get it? I got it. Oh. <laughs> if you hear the mumbling, Carlos's man cave is behind us. He's gaming with his homie G's. <laughs> if he screams, he's not my man. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know him? He's just a roommate. <laughs> he's not mine. You don't claim him? I don't claim him. We did not claim him. He's not bloody. <laughs> It's really windy outside. Mm-hmm. It freaks me out when it's that windy. Is it scary? Mm-hmm. Is it the Santa Ana ones? I think so. I love potatoes. Yeah, she does. Yeah, I do. Wait, I'm so freaking excited to cook in the new house, man. I'm going to spoil you guys. I'm going to list it out right now. So... Oh, shit, someone, someone right No, down. there are a few things that I really want again. Can you someone, can someone please make us a list in the comments down below of things I need to feed Michelle, please? <laughs> One, I want that Caesar salad again. With shrimp. De no steak? No, shrimp. You don't like my steak, huh? Shrimp. <laughs> I need to learn how to make better steak. Shrimp. I do it too well done, start tasting like the bottom of a shoe. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the first thing you must always do is come to accept that you never be in denial mm -mm. but you know what i've been learning i've been watching a lot of youtube videos and tiktoks you should get those temperature things don't they help oh <laughs> i think what helps is just uh skill practice no practice. Well, I'll practice no you know why i do it so well done because i'm literally about to marry a guy that eats all of his meat well done Mm, that is true. So, as long as he likes it, honestly, that's all that matters. No, what matters is about I like it. I like it a little bit red. I don't like it mooing. No, I know, but he started to like it medium well, right? Medium. Yeah, medium well is nice. I remember that one birthday at that, the surprise birthday you did for him. Mm hmm And we were all sitting there in a circle. Excuse me. Excuse me. You're excused. And, you, <laughs> and Gio was like, oh, I'll have a medium. And I was like, I'll have a medium. And everyone was like, I'll have a medium. And then I got to Carlos. And Carlos was like, well done. And I was like, you're going to get the medium well done? He is the type of person that literally eats his steak well done. And everyone's like, that is such a waste of steak. And you know what, Carlos? I agree. You should, no, have, no. It, you should have it a little pink. But if he enjoys it that way. Uh, true, true. Okay, you're right. Even though I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> So one, the Caesar salad with shrimp. Are you guys writing this down? I need you in the comments. Please write it down, like number it, please, and then I will pin it so I can remember. <laughs> what is it? Caesar salad Caesar with shrimp. Caesar salad with shrimp. Pasta. Pasta with what? I wanted spaghetti with mm. shrimp. And then freaking hot pot already. Oh, ginger ale's way better than Sprite. <laughs> <laughs> hot pot? Yeah. Oh, for the hot pot? You're what gonna, the hell, girl? I'm going to have to invite my mom because she makes better hot pot than me. Okay. Because if mom. you want hot pot, I will gladly drive her. <laughs> if you want hot pot, I will get the mama ramen and use that package as the broth. You know, I still would take it though. It's good though. I've done it. I've done it. Tell me, I've done it before. It's really good. Honestly, as long as the sides are good, like mm -hmm. shrimp, squid, fish. Things, you know? <laughs> Things. Trent, we must. We must. It's been a while since we've had Dundonus. Dundonus? 
Seafood places really know how to pick the smallest crabs. They really do. I haven't seen this small of a Dungeness crab. Honestly, go to the ABC market. <gasps> They're huge. Oh, remember that one time we did it? Oh, we should do that again. Oh my god. Should we do it tomorrow? Mm. Mm-hmm. Wait, I won't see you tomorrow. Mm-mm. Friday, Friday, Friday. Friday, Friday. <gasps> Friday food. <Friday. laughs> no! Uh, we're making Michelle do a, with her consent, of course, no pressure. <laughs> um, yeah, you guys will see it. I hope you don't throw up. I hope you don't throw up. Oh, I will. It came today. Oh, oh mom. Hmm. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'm picking. I'm do you picking. want me to? Do you want me to do it for you? No, I got it, mom. Don't worry about me. Okay. Good, cause I, was, I didn't even bring scissors. Mmm. These are shells. These are all of. Oh shoot, lo siento. <laughs> oh my god, that's so freaking rude. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I just wanted to. Make sure I don't, like, you don't eat a shell. Oh. Um, here, let me do the legs. You want some Dungeness, right? Mm. Yeah? Yes, please. Oh, okay. Like, I was going to do the legs for us. Well, I was going to, at the end of my shrimp, I was going to bring it on my fingers. <laughs> huh? I was going to eat my shrimp, and then once I'm done with my shrimp, I was going to use all my fingers. Oh. Well, here, that's easier for you. Thanks, my mom. hands are, like, really dirty anyways. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome. <gasps> Did it go all over me? Oh my god, I guess you can't wear it tomorrow. I don't really know if your mother wants to talk. <laughs> <laughs> I do rewear shit and I have no shame. I don't either. Oh, I need to pack my suitcase. Oh, yeah. <laughs> With what? All your merch? <laughs> You guys, I'm just gonna wear my merch until I move, okay? We gotta pack my clothes now. No, I'm just waiting for it to come because that's all I'm gonna wear. Oh, I'm so excited. I think Maiden's gonna wear his too. Oh, Madonna. How's his intro? Probably hurting. Oh, yeah, he cried about it today because, uh. I'm coming over. Clem, uh, stepped on it. I'm coming over. I got time after this. You know his biggest fear is you show up? <laughs> Someone pop in some jams? I think so. Um, we're gonna play the game in the second half of this video. We have about mm -hmm. like seven minutes left. Hmm. Because our hands are dirty right now. Mm hmm I was reading your comments in one of these videos and someone was very devastated that I don't suck the head. Oh, she usually loves sucking head, but sometimes she doesn't feel like it. Very particular about my head. Do you like some juicy? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Wait. Prefer it that way. Yes. These are your legs. I gotta monitor myself before I eat all of them. No, eat. Here, no. I gave you the soft ones. I'll do the hard ones. She got teeth made out of this freaking. No, the shells are soft. They're not that hard. I love Dungeness Meat Crab, man. Mm, mm, mm. It's really good today. It's good every time we eat it, honey. Am I like on something today or something? Are you okay? No. Okay, no, this you don't bite. I literally lose a teeth, tooth. now oh my gosh mom is there any shrimp left yeah i'm like craving one here oh gracias muchas gracias girl mm. not in the mood to suck head today you really gotta be in the mood to suck shrimp head 
And the other head. <laughs> All heads in general. I hope this game is fun. It's filthy. <laughs> <laughs> I love how we associate filthy. You know why that, um, have I ever, have I, have not, have I, have, I have never, have I never? Hey, here's the thing. It's right next to you still. Oh! <laughs> never have I ever. You know why that game was boring? <laughs> you know why that game was boring? Why? Because one, we didn't have friends. <laughs> and two, it wasn't filthy. Oh, we like Why do I things. love the word filthy? Filthy. Oh, damn. It's what old people use. Filthy? Oh, a crane? Get rid of the R. Rain! <laughs> uh, mm. People are literally dying about uh, <laughs> Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> <laughs> Sofia Vergara is from Colombia. Mm. I said freaking Brazil. I'm so dumb. Are you kidding me? I sat there and agreed with you. <laughs> with you? Well, yeah, because 36 inches? <laughs> <laughs> Comment down below if you guys know the pan story where I bought 32 oh. inch pan. Yeah, because a ruler is 24 inches. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, we could fart in life. We really do. We've made it six years. Mm-hmm. Mm. Do you just want to do a mukbang where we just buy shrimp? Oh, <gasps> just shrimp? Yeah. Let's do it. It's so good. Hey! What? Have you ever had shrimp boil in Coca-Cola? Do you like shrimp sweet? Mm -hmm. Mom, I don't like sweet things. You know they are. I'll try it for you. I've actually never tried it before. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Dairy Queen sounds good. I've been like really into Dairy Queen. Is there any more shrimp? No, Mom. Oh, I order more shrimp next time, okay? Okay. There's no more. I order more shrimp. Usually Michelle eats the shrimp. I never eat the shrimp, so... But when it's really good, she'll eat the shrimp. It makes sense. It's fine. I should have ordered more. It's okay. It's okay, Mom. I eat crawfish. Yeah, usually I never eat the shrimp. What? Time to get all my fingers dirty, but I'm really nervous. <laughs> dirty, dirty. Usually I never eat the shrimp. Literally, I always order one pound for Michelle. I think I can still do it with two fingers. <laughs> Did all your fingers dot ruin? Oh my god, that's so good. <laughs> Are you? Wait, hey, is this so good? What's going on? What's this thing made of? Ginger ale? I said it was ginger ale. <laughs> is there a potato? So, you told me you ordered six and I only ate four. <laughs> it's okay. I don't know why I'm craving your side today. I have a piece for no, you if you want okay. it. I don't know why. Usually I'm craving my things, but today I'm craving Michelle's No, thing. like I'm telling you that if you ordered six, they only gave us four. Oh my god, I have yeah. to get my money back. Okay, thanks for telling me. Because as you see, <clears throat> I stopped eating it because I was like, oh damn, this is not too much. I ordered six. You want some? No, no, no. But I have to get my refund though, that's for sure. I'll call them tomorrow. Damn. This one time they forgot a whole lobster and I called and I was like, oh, I ordered a whole lobster and you guys like gave me a leg. <laughs> like what's up with that? <laughs> okay, back to this. <laughs> back to what? The ginger ale? Ginger ale. Oh my god, that is like muy bien. Oh, now that's all she's gonna drink. Oh my god, that's so good. I discovered this in the hospital. <laughs> oh no. During Wendy, you know how like... Oh, I thought it was a ghost. So like... Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would think it's a ghost. I think so logical, you know? <laughs> what is Wendy? Thing. Bitch, what are you looking up for? Start praying! <laughs> Our power went out the other day too. I think someone ran into um. 
Oh my god, I thought you meant like a human being ran into your house or something. Huh? Girl, no. what? I'm lost. What? Someone, that bridge? Huh? No. Okay, we're done. We're done. We're done. That, that's the bridge? Just over the bridge? <laughs> that, bang. Ginger ale's so good. Jesus. <laughs> oh, 59 grams of sugar. Fuck! Soda's bad for you. <laughs> I told you. Okay, well, water from this cooler is really high. Holy moly. Okay, we're opening the game. Hey, from now on, I'm gonna eat with two fingers, okay? Why do I love game boxes? I don't know. They're so cute. I'm going to continue. We have like all of these games. How Man, funny. A lot of them. Okay, ready? Why do we play the game? It's just trivia, babe. Oh. Ready? Mm-hmm. Oh, by the way, I'll link the game down trivia? below. Trivia? Yeah, but like oh, funny. Oh, on. No, we're not doing this one. <laughs> okay, ready? Mm-hmm. Which greeting was originally a way to make sure a person wasn't carrying a concealed weapon to murder you? What? Wow, you learn cool things. Are you going to give me options? Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> okay, which greeting was originally a way to make sure a person wasn't carrying a concealed weapon to murder you? A. Waving hello, B, the hug, C, bowing, or D, the handshake. Hey, you guys will actually learn new things with us this time. Um, I'm going to say the bowing. D, the handshake. That's why we do handshakes. That. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Okay, this one's for me because your hands are occupied. Oh, wait. Um. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I didn't see anything. Out hiking and come across wombat poop. Here's a weird fact about their feces. Their shit is one of their main food sources. Their shit doesn't have an odor. Why do they have a shit? <laughs> their shit comes out of their mouth. <laughs> or their shit comes out perfectly cubed. Let me know if you want to meet. Want they me to eat it. Mm mm. D. It comes out cubed. What? What's a wombat? Oh, you have your phone, but it's dirty. We look it up. What's a wombat? Is what that a bat? <laughs> Is that a bat? Like a well. Chimpanzees are bonkers. They'll steal and eat the babies of rival clans, and they often. A, accidentally eat their own kids. B, mistaken human babies for ch chimpanzees and take them. C, carry their skull around as a warning. warning or D, have sex with corpses. Do they Corpse. Walk, do they walk around with the skull? No, it's B. <laughs> Sometimes chimpanzees mistake human babies for chimpanzees and take them. Okay, never see in the chimpanzees. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I like this trivia game more than the last one we played. Well, the last one makes you feel real stupid, okay? <laughs> okay, here you go. <clears throat> in 2008, two sisters found this and sold it on eBay for $1,350. Okay. A potato that looked like Abe Lincoln. Okay. A piece of bread that looked like it had Jesus' face on it. Okay. A cornflake shaped like Illinois. Okay. A carrot that looked like a perfect penis. What was the first one, friend? Was that Abraham Lincoln? Yes. And the second one was? Um. Jesus? Yes. And is then it, a cornflake. Is it Abraham? Nope. A cornflake shaped like Illinois. 
for thirteen fifty on eBay. Who in the world you know, buys that? You know what they sell on eBay? Mm. If you guys ever run across a really cool looking che- hot Cheeto, sell it on eBay. People buy it. Yeah, like a hot Cheeto looks like a penis. People buy it. For how much though? I don't know. Cause now I'm people can bid. <laughs> and buy some hot Cheeto she bags. Curved, she carved it out with her teeth. <laughs> Um, people bid on eBay, no? Yes. I don't know. Can. I ordered um, hot Cheeto macaroni and cheese or something. It never came. It never came, but then the seller disappeared, so eBay refund me. I always tell them, don't buy on eBay. eBay's a little sketch, but that's also where I bought those little grape jellies, so I can't say much. <laughs> eBay's good for, like, international things. Oh. Yeah. If you're getting surgery, mm-hmm. there's a chance some objects might get sewn up inside you. Oh, my God. Can't you sue for that? Yes, you can. Try me. There's an episode of Grey's Look. Anatomy. <laughs> she left a towel in there. Oh, I oh. saw once this guy left scissors. Ah! That's not good. What's the most common item doctors leave inside people? A, sponges. B, mm-hmm. needles. C, tweezers. D, clamps. That's crazy. Tweezers? A, sponges. Mm. Wow. Miami, <clears throat> Miami, yeah. Florida okay. has been overrun by African land snails. These are some interesting. <laughs> really? These mollusks grow to the size of rats and will eat <clears throat> anything that gets in their path, Mm-mm. the outside of a house until it crumbles, small pets, human flesh. Small pets. The outside of a house until it crumbles. So that's on the home insurance. (laughs) Wow. That's crazy. Could you imagine telling someone though? Oh, what happened to your home, Susan? Susan? (laughs) Susan? (laughs) Wait. Oh, no. I called my GPS Sandra. (laughs) Susan, what happened? Oh, my God. These mollusks. Cornflake cereal were originally invented to A, cheaply feed old people. (laughs) B, help people kick drug habits. C, use extra ingredients hanging around a factory. Or D, suppress masturbation. Drug? D. Masturbation? Suppress masturbation. How? I don't know. What the heck? I guess we'll have to Google these. These are really good facts. The game, by the way, is called, um, I wish I didn't know. Oh, I guess... Oh, that's kind of cool. The world's oldest prostitute on record is 56, 68, 85, 98. 85. Dang, good job. Ah, yay. I have feeling. Oh, 85. Nothing over there today? <laughs> Well, I'll be damned. <laughs> That's what I said on the water. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. The first person and last person to die while building the Hoover Dam had something else in common. They were both electrocuted. They were father and son. They were both women. Their bodies are still stuck in the dam. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> were they? Hey, is the Hoover no. Dam the one in Vegas? Or by Vegas? Like Utah, like it's in between uh, Utah and is it Utah? But and it's Nevada? the one where people go to when they go to Vegas. I, I always see people making a stop or like driving out there, right? I believe you go past Vegas. Oh, because just... it's in the middle of Utah and even Nevada or Arizona. I don't know oh. which one it is. Which one is your friend? Oh, I don't. Wait, can you read that uh, question again? Um, the first person. And last person to die while building the Hoover Dam had something in common. They were both electrocuted. They were father and son. They were both women. Or their bodies are still stuck in there. They were father and son? Yes! Good That's job! So sad, sad, yeah. Sad, but you got it. Well, that's an interesting fact. That is very interesting. I really get it. <clears throat> About 200,000 people are born with this 
with this extra body part each year. That's a lot of people. <laughs> Fingers, buttholes, nipples, or toes? Toes. Nipples. You know how people are always joking about like a third nipple? Oh. <laughs> How many extra toes have you seen in your life to be thinking of toes? A nipple? Yeah. I thought Carlos had an extra nipple, but it was just a hanging skin tag. But I literally thought it was an extra nipple. I mean, where did you find it to think that it was a <laughs> nipple? Like, hey, you know? <laughs> if your new roommate admits to having... Mom, I don't know what this means. Get it. <laughs> hey, no, but we, maybe we'll learn something. Ablutophobia? Oh. Ablophobia is Ugh. a fear of being. Oh. oh no! Why? I wonder why. I'll do it for you. Like what? Water? Maybe a fear of water? Oh, we didn't even tell them. Ablophobia is, is a fear. fear of bathing. But I wonder if that it's because they're scared of water. I'm looking that up. That is very interesting. Bathing. So can you shower? Or bathing as in, like, washing yourself. That, I've never heard of this before. Ablophobia. Well, we gotta Google this. Okay. This is a very, I Wait, love ablu, learning about new things. Ablu, she forgot a whole freaking letter. Ablutophobia. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's interesting. Remind me to Google that later. Ablutophobia. You know, there's, like, so many things out there we just don't know. I feel like a lot of them are made up. What if this one person just has this weird irrational fear? Oh, and, and they go, this is what it's up. called. Yeah. yeah. I think that's how phobia started. And then they're like, oh, me too. And I'm like, really, you too? <laughs> oh, your turn? No, your turn. You didn't. Oh. Which of the following statements about belly buttons is true? Mm. They are just scars. Urine can leak from them. <laughs> Ooh. Doctors have no control over innies and outies. All the above. Wait, but that's, oh no, what? This ain't the SATs, girl, just choose one. <laughs> is it all of the above? Yeah, it is. Oh. Urine what? can leak from them? Oh, apparently it turns you on too. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> oh, your turn. Did you see? No, I saw a thousand at the top. <clears throat> Over 1,000 people get struck by lightning every year in the United States. Oh. <laughs> Here's an odd fact about the freak occurrence. Oh. Lightning can still get you indoors. 40% mm -hmm. of lightning strike victims are bald. Oh. <laughs> people who drank alcohol recently are more likely to be struck. Okay. Getting struck by lightning can change your hair color. Can change your hair color. Mm -mm. <sighs> Lightning can still get you indoors. Oh my god. <laughs> You're starting to rethink your existence, huh? <laughs> it's just not safe anywhere. 1,000. Damn, what are those thousand people? Every year. In 2009, doctors operated on this person. I don't want to say the name wrong. Thinking he had a cancerous tumor that needed removing. Instead, the doctors found a baseball size hairball, a medical instrument from a previous surgery, a plastic fork, a fair, a fear, a fair tree growing in his lungs. A fair tree? Yeah. So a hair? Uh-huh. Scissors? Uh-huh. What's the side of the loss? A medical instrument, plastic fork, or the tree? Hair? Tree. Tree? What's that tree, friend? A fir tree. Huh. I thought that was fire. F-I-R? Oh my god. Dude, I can't read. I'm not okay. I'm not okay. Is this haircut? <laughs> That's what's going on. <laughs> <clears throat> when a beautiful butterfly lands on your arm... The insect isn't looking to make nice. Butterflies are known to drink sweat and blood, 
take a tiny crap on people, want to mate, want to murder. <laughs> this whole time I thought they were beautiful and they represented people from the past. <laughs> what was the first one? Sweat? <clears throat> Drink sweat and blood. Or they poop? They're pooping, huh? Take a tiny crap. Is that your final answer? Yes, final answer. No, they drink blood and sweat. Drink blood and sweat? Mm -hmm. When butterflies land on you? Mm -hmm. Well, that you just ruined that beautiful moment for me. I've always wanted a butterfly to land on me. <laughs> Alrighty, last one, friend. I'm going to come to you as a butterfly. <laughs> oh, remember, I'm turning off the lights. That's fucked up. <laughs> That's fucked up. In the midst, miss, 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 miss of his murder spree, serial killer Rodney Alcala went on a game show and won. What was the show? You know this one. Carlos, or Car Carlos shared this information with you. The Dating Game, Wheel of Fortune, The 100,000 Pyramid, The Price is Right. The Dating Game? Yes. Carlos uh, taught us this one. Dang, we learned a lot from him. It does help us in life, huh? Do you know what I do hate, though? What? When he goes on about Aztecs. I'm, I don't care. <laughs> he loves learning about uh, history. He's Him a, and Maiden. He's a history geek. He loves it. You should have become a, a history professor. Oh, I would Ooh. love to sit in one of his lectures. You were stupid. <laughs> That's literally him. Okay, ready? You, get out of my class. I don't even want to look at you. You know what? The Eagles are playing today. So we're going to leave. <laughs> you know, my one professor did that. His baseball team was playing, so he canceled class. No. It was my. It was at Dominguez Hills, and I'm going to say the teacher because I don't want to get him in trouble. Um, it was like one of the the teachers, you know? Thank <laughs> you. He was really so cool. Much. He literally sent out email. He canceled class because one of his baseball team was playing that day. Oh my god! And he went to the game. He went to the game. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, he went to the game. I was like, you did that all just to sit at home and watch your. Game. I was fine with it to be honest. <laughs> I didn't have to drive to school. Alrighty, friends. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Please give this video a big thumbs up. We would love to hear from you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.